Now, here's Heidi and Frank on 95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1, Los Angeles. Heidi and Frank show. If you've ever been to uh, see Frank Caliendo on stage, <laughs> high energy. A little schizophrenic. Never know uh, what, the, the, who you're going to get. Never know who you're going to get. Uh, yeah, comedian, impressionist. Does like over 120 impressions. and uh, He must be so much fun at home. You think so? Like I could be, I could be his wife and I could be in bed and I go, I want to make love to George Bush tonight. <laughs> I want to make love to Madden tonight. You know, like whatever. He I don't think so- that would ever be a request from anyone. I want to make love to Madden tonight. <laughs> and I don't think that ever happens. Uh, let's find out. Frank Caliendo, get in here, man. There he Where is. Where is he? There he is. We meet again. I forget how early it is in the morning until I see people walk in here. Yeah. Uh, We've been up for <laughs> seven hours at this point. I'm like, wow, I forget how early it is. Yeah. How you been? Good. Great. Good to see you back in here again. Yeah. Well, this is We're like, in the other studio. Studio. You guys are hopping This is around. our TV studio yeah. now. Yeah. You know. We're it's big hot, now. man. Mm-hmm. Really good. <laughs> Look, though. At the LA uh, skyline, right? That's here. the real skyline, too. Really mm-hmm. It's a window. <laughs> you tell people when they're drunk coming in late. Yeah. yeah. Ah, it's a window. <laughs> Look at that. You can see all of LA. I didn't know it was dark out. Did you? Do you get requests? I said before you come in here that do you get requests in bed to do different characters? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Anybody right, but you, right? Just be anybody, be anybody. Be anybody. Anybody but me. <laughs> that's what my wife wants. Can you be someone different? <laughs> I heard that coming. At Madden. That's really a great. I was like John Madden. That's it, that. That's your fantasy. Well, listen. That's weird. I'm a little quirky. By the way, you're, oh, that's right. Because we're on. You're on TV. You're made up. I'm Last time you up. weren't made up. No. Time. You look decent, but now you look good. Thank just, you. Oh I'm, my God. These are terrible compliments that I. That's yeah. Last to be a time, what a troll. Yeah, well, they wasn't trollish. You might. Oh come on. Maybe yeah. under a bridge, but not <laughs> collecting coals, but not. I didn't think. I didn't think horrific, but this is. I mean, it's a treat. Fee well, fi fo. <laughs> Uh, Frank looks no different. I know. I'm no, still no, no. It's it's still the the TV, no TV. Give me a dollar. <laughs> Here's a dime. Give me another dollar. I had a guy in Vegas do that, a homeless guy. He was like, give me a dollar. You give him a dollar. Give me another dollar. Well, well it worked the first one. time. Yeah, right? Why not? Keep trying until you say no. That's his act. Say hi to Heidi. <laughs> How do you where, how do you even how do you uh, even know her? Ah, long story. Well, if you say see him again, tell him I said hi back. I definitely yeah. will. Are you um, going any place for uh, the holiday what season? What are you doing? Uh, what am I doing? Um, so no, where are you from originally? Uh, I grew up. I was born in Chicago, but grew up in Milwaukee. So, uh, but I don't want to go back and see that. No, no, no. We're back in Milwaukee. Or no, we. My my in laws are we we live in Phoenix, and uh, my in laws are. Here, there for a month, so oh, that's Frank. a treat. That's why you're like, yeah, go get on a plane, and go to L.A. for a do a morning show and do, do an a- yeah, yeah, I'll go. Yeah, it's uh, anything to get out of the house. Yeah, it's always interesting. Um, but uh, and we got Grandma who's with us. Grandma's 92, wow. and you know because when you meet her, she says, "I'm 92." Uh, it's like little kids; they, they're the same. They're, they're, Everything they're comes circles back they, around. Yeah, they I'm 92 you the and a half. Age. Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. I'm almost 93. Is she getting smaller by the day? I mean, like, she, oh, she started small. She, my my nine year old's taller than her. I think. <laughs> Whoa. We we actually put her on the top of the tree this year. Uh, grandma's up there. <laughs> what an angel! <laughs> she, yeah, absolutely, she glows. Uh, that that might have been uh, some of the uh, radioactivity, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still thinking back to this. You think Madden is the one my wife would ask? Well, boom, put it in, take it out, and you're done. What is it? <laughs> yeah, oh, did you ever see awesome. those here? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, you're illustrating things as it's happening. That, that spot right there, that's a better spot than all the rest of the spots. <laughs> you gotta hit the hole. <laughs> that is, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, I almost got kicked off the air. Uh, uh, no, 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 not around no, here. No. You're fine. Oh, we're on an eight-second delay. Say whatever you want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, as long uh, as we get a laugh, we don't care. <laughs> yeah, hey, the premium gonna, members get the uncensored version. It's ourselves. fine. Exactly. We don't care that oh, much about great. the audience. Yeah. I, I, you know, one of, Madden is one of the things that I, and I'm not saying that it's uh, off limits at all or anything like that, but it was like one of those things that on TV, whenever they ask me to do it, now I'm like, ah, you know, it's just mm-hmm. been done. You know, I've done it so many times. But then he he comes out every once in a while. He's in the news, and he was just in the news. The thing about RG three. Did you hear that? I didn't hear. Where he's saying that that because they're not playing RG three, it's like a disgrace to the game or something like that. Because you know the whole universe 
could explode because you're not playing a guy who's playing like crap. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, that feels good right is, there. Is RG three uh, Madden's new Favre? It's like this man. Crush? No, I don't think so. No. Uh, but it's. I mean, he's he's a guy who went from being like an incredible player last year. He gets hurt at the end of the year, and now he's just awful. But you can tell something's just wrong. It's it's he doesn't look comfortable. You know, those guys are they're on the verge of death every time they're out there. And if you don't you know trust your legs that they're going to get out of there, you're in a lot of trouble. So. I'm trying to think of the people, you know, Peyton Manning seems to be the guy. Don't say anything yeah. bad about Peyton Manning well, around us. Right, no, him, him, but, you really, but you really can't. But everybody at the beginning of the season was thinking he's the one that's going to, his neck's going to fall off. And you, just, you did, right? He went from, and last year didn't look, look like he was throwing the ball. I'm almost going to go Gruden on that. I'll tell you what, man. You watch Peyton Manning last year. He looked like he wasn't throwing the ball with the kind of zip on it you'd want to see. And I'll tell you what, man. This year, he's really turning it around. If I were Peyton Manning, I'd. I'd make even two more, a couple more pizzas at a time, man. I'll tell you what, that guy. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what. I'll, if you think Peyton Manning is a bad actor, take a look at Papa John, man. That guy, <laughs> he's struggling on camera, man. I love the pizza, but Papa John, I'll tell you what, that guy. You gotta go to some classes, man. Maybe get in with the Groundlings or UCB or something like that, man. <laughs> Little yes and kind of stuff. I'll it's tell so you great. what, man. Look at it. I mean, when you do these impressions, uh, your face, face. You, how do you? Play-Doh your face into uh, you look just because, like Gruden when you did it. Because, because there's, uh, how do I Play-Doh my I face? Mean, you spent, there's so much fat spent, there. You, also, you were Gruden. I mean, you, your you, face you look just I'm like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pizza slice, man. I call it the pizza slice. It's a line across the eyebrows, point down to the chin, so it's a triangle going downward. So, like with the like uh, uh, Leno, you jut out the chin, and then, hey, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Turns into beaker from the Muppets, but I like how you look from the side. I'm gonna get a profile on this. Maybe a couple months left. And it'll be Even the back of his head looks like Leto. It's, it's weird. Crazy. I don't know how he did crazy. that. He's a bobblehead. Yeah. Yeah. Sit him in the front of your car. See what happens. See, next to the hula girl. <laughs> so you're gonna be at the uh, Irvine Improv tonight. Yeah, there's only one show. Thing. There's okay. one show. Tonight's late show is the only one that's open. So everything else is sold out. So there's good, good for you. Congratulations. Late show meaning what time? I bought all the tickets. Oh, all right. That's a trick. That's a, they, they teach you at P.T. Barnum School of uh, Sellouts. Uh, oh, the bestseller list. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> You're a billionaire with a bestseller. Uh, how'd you do that? Bought all the books myself. <laughs> um, yeah, so tonight I think the show's at like 10 or something like that. <laughs> I came in prepared. So you're going to be up this yeah. early in the morning. Are you, is there a nap in your future? Yeah, maybe halfway through this. I think, there was, oh, right. I think there was a nap at the Bristol Farmers Green Room. I was like, you just I, rolled you know what, out. I didn't just you? get, I get in and I just kind of plop down. I'm one of those. And then if things. you sit too still, the light goes off because oh, there's really? no motion yeah. sensor, and so you're now all of a sudden now you're in the dark room. See, that's one of the things is when you get to like radio shows and stuff like that where people don't know you. I get in there and usually I'm just very calm and yeah. sitting down. And it's like. Like the people that I'm sure, you, maybe I shouldn't say I'm sure, but you probably get you see Twitter and stuff like. There's people that just hate you no matter what. Oh, yeah. you, of course, you, they're like I got a death threat last night. Right, uh, sorry that about that. Yeah. And uh, that's yeah. all right. We, we could, got, we could, Let's work this out. Huh? Let's work this out today because uh, I don't want to go to sleep tonight. You wear makeup. <laughs> um, retweet. I retweeted it. <laughs> so. Uh, People are like, are you like that all the time? You're so annoying. I'm like, no, I do that to sell the tickets. It's called it's called it <laughs> yeah. work. If you're a carpenter, do you do you still build stuff when you're like not working? Well, no, I'm. That's yeah. a horrible example. Well, I know that's all I could come up with. Listen, I'm not a. Yeah, he always got a tool belt on everywhere he goes. This is so. <laughs> I do you like that. Do you still? <laughs> well, you're a doctor. Do you still breathe when you're at home? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Do you? Isn't it true that you stop breathing when you get home? <laughs> 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 Let's do another one. They could do another. Yeah, oh. Try another profession. Yeah, another, do it, but he does it home. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just Listen, gonna, if, if I'm a prostitute, the last thing yeah, I want to do. Just go boinking when you're home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just go home. You probably have to your, you don't think I have any downtime because yeah. I'm a hooker. And how much? <laughs> Sir, I'm not working right now. <laughs> Try another one. <laughs> Car salesman. Yeah, were you at home? Are you uh, going to talk to your boss in the back room to make sure you can make a deal? <laughs> See if that's the best you can do. <laughs> Sorry, honey, that's the best I can do. If I, I tried. I, I can go back there again, but I don't know Why if you can. Why are we going to be able to do that? That's your sex scene yeah. right there. Why are we going to be able to do that?
we going to be able to do to get it, get, get you into this Let me this go to today? the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what the... What are we gonna do? Can you throw in floor mats? <laughs> What are you gonna do with floor mats? Whoa. What about the uh, the uh, that special coating underneath? You know, and to now, protect the uh, metal. Now we gotta go to the finance room. <laughs> oh. Yeah, can you have a seat and we'll awkwardly talk for a while while I sell you things? There's no chance of you ever buying. You want to go take those out for a test? <laughs> <laughs> Fredcaliendo.com is the website. Uh, go see him tonight to get tickets. One er, night only. Er, no, no, no. It's tomorrow night, too. Yeah, that's but the only too, show oh, that's got tickets left is... Right. Uh, oh, the only... So they can't go tomorrow night. It's they could. Out. I mean, usually if people show up, but there's, I don't think there's any tickets to buy ahead of time. Right. So, so do that now, then. Uh, Irvine.improv.com for tonight's late night show. And uh, follow Frank on uh, Twitter. Show him some love. Somebody show him some love for once on Twitter. At yeah. Frank Caliendo. I got yelled at last time I was in here because I was talking about doing, like, uh, football ball stuff you know uh, yeah not yelled at but maybe in all caps kind of yeah but it was one of those things where it's like uh i was talking about how i've done just, uh, 10 years 11 years i've done different stuff about football jokes on tv you just run out of material to, like the same guys are back in jail you know that's yeah, yeah. really what it is so i was like oh, i've kind of done everything and somebody took that out of context and was like oh thanks for waking me up with some really positive thoughts that everything's been done you suck. Like, oh. like, no, that's not what I said. I said that I, I've been doing this football stuff for 10 years. That it's one of those. It's things like football, there's only so many plays, and you could call. Right. It was like it was just what I was just like. I and now you're trying to get into an art, defend yourself in 140 characters. And I right. I, I've, stopped, I I've stopped defending myself because yeah, uh -huh. I used to defend myself, and now it's just like wow. Well, right. now you did some car dealer jokes. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's the Those aren't done yet. Those, that, aren't, those aren't done yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I'm gonna Morgan Freeman. You. That's when I realized that Frank Kramer was gonna destroy Frank Kelly in the forever. He thought he was gonna be able to get back at him, but the truth was. Heidi and Frank would gang up on Frank, and there was no chance that he'd ever get out of this one okay. Well, that's just the way it was at Shaw Frank. Shaw Frank! <laughs> get busy living, or you get busy dying. <laughs> that is awesome. Would you, would you, uh, I've always, I've always told, like, my, my parents, because I live in Los Angeles, so I always think that I, I run around with, I, I always see, run, bump into celebrities. You don't? Oh, I do. I was just on the street and I ran into who? Jack Nicholson. <laughs> really? What do you say? Hey, saying? how are you? <laughs> yeah. I was just flipping burgers. <laughs> yeah, would you call him? Yeah, I'm, I'm standing here with Frank. And then say happy happy birthday or Thanksgiving or something like that for her. Would I do? No, I wouldn't. Do you wouldn't do that Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'd do it. I know we're, I know we're close. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. What, what you? That's what you want to do with? It. I'm sure you get called on the street all the time where people go, "Hey, could call, you call, call could you friend. call somebody?" But don't don't be you. Don't say. Oh, hey, you know, Frank, they'll can, do it. Hey, Frank Caliendo. No, no, no. Do, no, do no, more. Do, do somebody <laughs> we care about. <laughs> you said, "Don't do Frank." Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Do no, they cars. won't know you. They won't know you. <laughs> Do, do Jeff Goldblum. Very odd. Very weird. Why, why, why would you ever do uh, Frank Caliendo when you could do someone who truly matters? <laughs> My God. <laughs> are, are you working on somebody right now? Somebody new? You know, I've been working. It's mostly the football kind of stuff because I've been doing that stuff with ESPN. So it's not, it hasn't, I, that's one thing that I, I think I may even talked about it last time I was with you guys that. I need to get more and do more of the mainstream kinds of actors and stuff like that because I've been doing sports stuff for so long because that's what I have to do on TV that's yeah. new. And I work some of I'm trying to find stuff that I work into the act, but like again, it doesn't fit all the demos the the people that come to a club. For example, on ESPN, there's a, a, you know they have the insiders. Adam Schefter is one of the guys, uh, and they have information that they give you. It's really, I think, for gamblers more than anything, but it's or it's fantasy and stuff like that. But it's they they always have to have information, even if there isn't any real information. So they'll be like, according to my sources, at this particular time, it appears Tom Brady's yawn during pregame warmups was in fact just a yawn. And earlier reports that there was some sort of oxygen deprivation disorder were highly exaggerated. <laughs> You're like, filler. Well, it was just yawn, you know? <laughs> then there's guys like Stephen A. Smith that just, I don't even know if he's using the right words. I'm incredulous to the entire situation and don't understand the ubiquity of what's happening and so forth. And you're like, I don't even know. What he just Those said. are the right... <laughs> I quadrilaterally deny everything you just said. What does geometry have to do with it? <laughs> I can't, you know, it's those guys. Uh, but, uh, you know, one guy... Again, it's, it gets so obscure. With it, like when I'm on ESPN, 
it's like the people that watch ESPN watch it like all day long. Jay Moore would do like that bit about you watch Sports Center, then you watch Sports Center, then you watch sport, you know, watch it over and over. And I found myself I really do do that. I watch the same yeah. Sports Center, and I'm trying to distinguish if it's a taped one or or if I just watch the same one. You know, like you watch the live one, you're trying to figure out. No, I think they changed the word "and" there. <laughs> it's a like if you one. spend an That's hour, different. and they realized that oh, it was the same one. It was the same one. No, they really said "and." Um, they'll do that too. It's like it's 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 weird. I, I don't, like you said, you didn't notice it until Jay pointed it out. But then every guy does that. You watch Sports Center, and maybe on. You, maybe you didn't get it at the beginning, but then so you watch the end of one, then you watch the beginning of the next, then you keep watching it. And yeah, you, and this, then you're just in it. But you're it's in the same. This, yeah, and then you watch the same thing, and you're like, "Oh, this is new." No, but <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe it's because you feel like you have sports knowledge because you just learned. Right. Yeah. Like, like yeah, I know yeah, enough. Yeah, I, I, knew I knew that. that. Well, I'm at the table now. Is, is, is that how sports guys <laughs> react? <laughs> well, here we are. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are. We're taking sports center once again <laughs> from the yacht. No, oh, somewhere in Britain, <laughs> apparently. We're across the pond taking a look at the sports center. Slowly, I've become more nasal. <laughs> yeah, whenever I want to feel smart, I always put that on. Yeah. That. Uh, it's like watching CNN for an hour, trying to trying to catch up. Like, okay, let's see what I missed in the last six years. Patty watches Jeopardy, hoping for a rerun so she looks smart. Oh, and I love a Jeopardy rerun like nobody's business. And somebody be like, how the hell do you do a 15th century poet? Like, I don't know. It's weird stuff that gets stuck up in like there. Just, yeah. just me, uh, Ted there in the middle, <laughs> and Alex Trebek. <laughs> There's three of us that can do this. <laughs> Thank you, Frank, for coming in and hanging out with us. I Go see you, Frank guys. tonight, uh, the late night show at Irvine Improv. Ir Irvine.improv.com for tickets. You know, come back anytime, man. Friendship, guys. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to come right back. We are Heidi and Frank. Uh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. Now, to get the show in its entirety on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day. All you have to do is go to HeidiAndFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.